the matrix I perceive as real. The matrix I perceive as real. It is real and it is real. It's real. Air is full moon on October 1st, 2020. What is it? What does it mean? What does it have to do with your life? It's been a little while since I uploaded my video. Uh, if you guys have been waiting for new moon or full moon video, sorry about that. Last month, I have a lot of focus in the 12th house and I found myself retreating to my private space and decluttering a lot of things on the various levels in my personal life. So it has been a little bit of delay and and now I'm back. <laughs> so so we had a full moon in Aries on October 1st and this impact is gonna last primarily very intensely for the next two weeks or so. But it will be relevant for the next six months. So I'm going to briefly address what this particular full moon is all about and how you can leverage on it to your benefit and to improve your life. Here you see the chart and I'm gonna translate it for you. So air is full moon. The ruler of this full moon is Mars and Mars is currently in retrograde in Aries. Retrograde means that this planet is far more closer to our planet Earth than the sun. When, when a planet is in retrograde, its impact becomes a lot stronger, like three to five times stronger than usual. This full moon has been pretty intense to be honest, because the supercharged Mars is squaring three different planets in Capricorn. And those planets are Jupiter, Saturn, and Pluto. Pluto is in retrograde. But when Mars and Saturn are in challenging position, this creates a lot of tension with authority figures on the global, on the mundane or country level. This would be playing out uh, in the context of governmental body, institution, corporations, and the personal life. This uh, could be about your boss, your paternal figures, or anyone who has more authority than you. Mars is all about being new and being initiative, especially in the sign of Aries. Aries rules initiation, new beginnings. So on one hand, we are craving for some sort of radical changes. However, the strong Saturn in Capricorn challenges us to slow down and this can create some sort of pain. Because Saturn is all about being slow, methodical, and doing it right. Going through all the tedious procedure. Ultimately, since a lot of planets are in cardinal signs, which are all about new beginning and uh, leadership, we would end up creating a lot of changes in our life and depending on where Mars and Saturn are positioned in your personal birth chart this is where those who are already kind of familiar with astrology uh, the details are going to be playing out differently but at the bottom line we are experiencing a massive changes that is about to happen and and every full moon represents a turning point. So full moon in Aries, especially when Mars is in Aries as well, this is a really great time for you to ask yourself, how do you want to change your self-image? How do you want to develop your own independence and personal identity? Since full moon is about bringing changes and getting ready for a new phase as well as reaping what you've sown about six months ago so if you journal you can go back to your 
a journal like six months ago and see what kind of mindsets you have and what kind of intentions that you put on because you would notice that those things are coming into fruition. Another thing that you can ask yourself to facilitate your personal growth could be how do you want to execute your own willpower? Where do you want to lead? What kind of changes you want to bring in to become more self-sufficient in some way? For example, if your air is rising, your full moon happens in the first house. So this is all about your uh, personality, life purpose, and especially your physical appearance. This could be about implementing uh, new changes in regards to your physical strength. Basically, it's about how you want to frame yourself. If you're a Pisces rising, you can use this full moon as a way of streamlining your resource management skills because it happens in your second house you can use this time to set out an intention to really strengthen your own self-worth because the second house is all about your self-worth worth finance and anything that is tangible material you know, so so on a collective level, we are reaching a new level of expressing ourselves individually, individualistically. Another thing that is so special about this full moon is Mars is in trine with Venus. Venus is with Regulus, which is one of the four royal stars. It's a very powerful position to have. So when Mars and Venus are trining each other, we may find it easier to seek for pleasure and expand joy. We can find a new source of joy. Venus also represents money and relationships. And Regulus, by nature, is a star of leadership. Again, the planet of beauty and self-worth is powered by leadership and sending a positive aspect to the planet of action, Mars. So it's a really great time to bring more changes in a way that boost your self-worth, self-esteem, and take action that make you feel more beautiful. So this is what is happening. And oh, last note, when Mars is in retrograde, we may feel more impulse to act out of very passionate emotion. Sometimes it could be a reckless impulse or aggression. Sometimes it could be a pure passion. So use your discernment and, and try not to be in a rush. And actually, you can use this passionate energy into doing reality check and because we have a lot of planets in Capricorn so setting out achievable goals and rather than just acting out of anger when it arises you can internalize this martial energy use your passion in a way that you can organize things and just realize that you are the master of your fate Focusing on gradual expansion or sometimes voluntarily putting limitations on your creativity or in any field that you want to create, whether it be about your career, relationship, or your hobbies, personal, like individual project, or whatever it is, like having a good balance between restrictions and expansion, growth. Are going to help you go a long way so this is what I'm seeing from this particular Aries full moon and I hope you guys enjoy it and uh, let me know make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't and let me know if you resonate with it and I'll see you in the next one bye